Okay, so question for example one. How can you use inequalities to describe the set of numbers graphed below? What is this line showing? I'm going to use a variable. X is less than or what? What's telling us it's or equal to? It's a closed circle. And it's less than or equal to? And then on the right side, how would we show this? X is, X is greater than 2. Okay? That is a compound inequality. The two inequalities graphed on the same line make it a compound inequality. And this case is also an or. <coughs> I'd like you to take a look at example B. Notice what's happening with the line. This is an and. How would you write the inequality that's graphed at the 4? Let's use our variable, x. What symbol is being represented by this dot? Greater than or equal to? What number? OK, and then what about this one? I'm hearing x is less than? one. So we're going to go back and rewrite these two. <clears throat> the first one would be written as x is less than or equal to negative three or x is greater than two. The second one would be written with the and. x is greater than or equal to negative four and x is less than 1. <coughs> I will tell you, there's no magic trick to this other than once you see them on a graph, it's really pretty obvious. When you're writing the inequalities, write them first and then put the word in. I want you to try it down here. Try it for this compound inequality. Is this an and or an or? And. Okay. So what's, go ahead and try it and you can check with people at your table and then I'll show you mine in just a moment. And coming back together, you guys ready to see mine? Yes. <coughs> it's an and. And just a little tip into how my brain works, I am seriously very visual. I put these right underneath the graph often, and then I write the answer off to the side. This way I'm making sure, remember, order matters. What's going to happen with these is going to start getting confusing when we remove the ands and the ors, but don't stress about that yet, okay? When we have the x's on the left side, we can just use the inequality to help us find the symbol. Okay, I'd like you to turn it over. This is going back to 1-5. I'd like you to solve these inequalities and graph them. 